As cell division continues, a dimple called the blastopore begins to form as cells start migrating inward to line a newly developing cavity. As cells move in, some are destined to become embryonic muscle, some stomach and intestines. A last movement of streaming cells pushes in nearly all the yolk-filled cells. Eventually, only a small plug of yolk cells remains on the surface of the developing embryo. This yolk plug area will become the embryo's posterior. The other end will be its head. If we look at the embryo from above, we will see its nervous system begin as two parallel ridges of tissue along its back. Gradually, the ridges fold over and fuse together, enclosing cells that will form the brain and spinal cord. Originally, the cells simply increased in number. Now, they're also becoming specialized or differentiated, forming specific tissues and organs. Scientists have devised many experiments to study differentiation more closely. To embryologist Hans Spemann, the embryo was, in his words, a conversational partner who must be permitted to answer in his own language. Spemann's genius lay in asking the right questions. One question he asked was, when do permanent differences appear among an embryo's cells? He wondered, does it happen sometime during cell division, or is it determined at the very beginning in the substance of the undivided egg? If that is so, is one half of the egg committed to building a head, gills, eyes, a brain, and the other to building only the rest of the salamander?